I've been called a lot of things since I started my YouTube channel. I've been called dollar store goth egg, I've been called female Corey Feldman, and one time on 4chan, someone called me <laughs> But now there's one thing about my reputation that I'm gonna try to change for good. Because for years now, I've been getting called harp lady. And I don't like being called harp lady. Why not? Because it's like, it's like cat lady, you know? It has a negative connotation. I don't always want to be associated with the harp because I do do other stuff, you know? So I'm going to write three tracks today and only one of them is going to have the harp in it. After I make the three tracks, I want you to comment and tell me which is your favorite track. And if it is the one with the harp in it, I'll rename my second channel Harp Lady. The official harp lady. For each of these tracks, I'm going to watch video game footage on mute and I'm going to write a soundtrack to the visuals without knowing what the real soundtrack sounds like. But there is a catch. For each track, I'm gonna have to use a secret sauce ingredient. Thank you so much to Perfect Circuit for sponsoring today's video. More on that later, but first, welcome to Secret Sauce. Oh. What is this? That, that's like scary looking. <gasps> is this like the drone machine? Same guy. I have no idea what it does. This is the coolest aesthetic of any piece of gear that I have. It looks like it is old. This is basically like a multi-effects unit, right? It's got chorus, filter, delay, echoes, you know, it's got a lot of different stuff. I was thinking I could just spend a little time running my harp through this first before we do anything, just to kind of get a feel of what it does. I think it's cool, yeah. What do you think, cool? Cool. Cool, great. Here we go. Oh, it's always a good sign when it starts like this. Is this Outlast? Yeah. Fuck, okay, I played this. Oh, really? Yeah, I played it with my friend John and we got in trouble because we were screaming so much. His mom came in and was like, you can't scream, and also, why does it smell like weed in here? <laughs> I'm too old for this now, you know? I'm too old for games with a flashlight. I have heart problems now. So like I can't, like I can't really play games like this. All right, I want to start out with a drone sound. There's a couple of different ways we can do that, but I think I want to use this thing. This is a smaller version of that giant drone generator I used a couple months ago, and I think this will be perfect. This has four drones, and these buttons are really satisfying to press. But if you want the drone to go on continuously, just flick this little toggle here. Um, you also got four knobs to control the pitch. So you can tune each drone as you want. You also got a little light sensor here. That's always fun. And you have a pulse button in case you want tremolo. So I don't know what I want to send that drone through, but I'm thinking chroma console, just because it does a bunch of different stuff and I want to try out a bunch of different stuff. I think this is, this is going to be good to experiment with. So I've been playing around with this thing for a little bit and I think I came up with something pretty cool. It doesn't really sound like a drone anymore, but I like it. So we need to add another layer. So I was thinking this, I mean, I was thinking this at first, but like, no, right? No, this, no. no. I think it just takes Are you too sure? long. <laughs> this is backup then. Yeah. Okay. This Take them both. Okay. I'm going to use this as an arpeggiator to arpeggiate some white noise and add some movement. First, I'm going to just choose some notes to play. And then I'm going to add some vibrato. And then I'm going to turn this noise knob up to turn it into noise. Normally, I would use the harp for these low notes, but since I can't, I guess I'll settle for a bass. Can you play bass? I mean, I'm gonna. I have it hooked up to this. And what I think would be really cool is to play a note and kind of like warp it, you know? Where is C? It's the what? third fret of the A string. Where's A? <laughs> yeah. 
got that's it. it. That's yeah. obviously it. Okay, done. Here we go. Time for the finished track. I don't know what that is. <laughs> So here's the real music. I like this. This is this is creepy. I mean, it fits the vibe. But it's scary. Yeah. Right. It's unsettling. Yeah. Always a good way to go. Yeah. You know what else I have a reputation for in addition to Harp Lady? What? I have a reputation for having a bad Long Island accent, and it makes me mad because I don't feel like I have that thick of an accent. I don't hear you do it. You have one. I don't have one. Another thing people say about me is they say, "Hey, you know about the perfect circuit trade-in program?" And I got a really cool gear trading program right now, going on right now. You can trade in your old gear for new gear. And they also sell used gear that was traded in before. So maybe some of your old gear will go to someone who wants that gear. I'm trading here. Watch out, I'm trading here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say my buddy Mike Wazowski wants to trade in his even die black hole and get a Von Gone replay. He can do that. He gets some credit towards the purchase. And then to say, if Jimmy wants to go in and buy a black hole, I can say, hey, that was Mike Wazowski's black hole. A lot of the stuff that you see in the video today can be found at Poifix Soy Kit. Not all the stuff because they didn't tell me what I had to use in this video, but it's still, this whole, this whole thing's still sponsored by Poifix Soy Kit. So thank you so much. This one's Grease. Gris? Is it Gris? Grease? With John Travolta? I think for this one, I want to keep it minimal and maybe just use like only a few layers. And then I also want it to be peaceful, but also maybe with like a little bit of dark undertones. I'm sure there's some conflict or, you know, there's something happening that's Seems not Seems like good. it's like underlying and metaphorical. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. That's something on it. I'm, Listen, I'm really I'm, analyzing I'm, this game here. No, 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 tell me more about a game you've never played. <laughs> Okay, so the secret sauce for this one is in a really big box. So okay. you're gonna have to leave for a bit, maybe go for a walk. Where am I gonna walk to? Uh, go, go to a lake. Go to a lake? What the? Come back in like a half hour. Oh my God. What the fuck, did you get a refrigerator? Okay, I'm like nervous, what is this? Just lift, lift up the box. Okay. okay. <laughs> She's my secret sauce. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start off with the heart part and I'm gonna run that through the bit crushed reverb on mood mark two. And then I also wanna run this through the Maris Mercury X just for some like extra greediness. So we're gonna have two reverbs going on. I think since you have like these really nice arpeggio things going on, I'm just gonna like lay down some sustained chords underneath. Okay. B major, G sharp minor kind of situation. Yeah. A flat and then E. There. Is yeah. it? Try that. The A and then you're going to. Something like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna be sending Vines' voice through the Chase Bliss Lossy for some extra glitchiness. You did great. <laughs> so here's the whole track we made. Thank you. 
think we got everything we needed, right? Think yeah, that was really fun. All right, cool. Thank you. Yeah. You can go now. Oh, We're good. Okay, I We're just... Done. Yeah, you okay. can... Did you want to tell them about our new single together? Bye, Cassie. I'll see you later. Bye. Get home safe. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay. Okay. I was right. It has, like, a dark undertone to it. It's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I wish I had a fucking cello. This is a game that you could download a soundtrack and, like, enjoy. Like, you could, like, go for a walk and listen to this, you know? Yeah. Like, when someone kicks you out of your studio to set up a secret sauce item and you go for a walk in the cold for a half hour, you could listen to this track if you really wanted to, you know? Oh, my God. Soma. So many layers of tape. This is the thing? Yeah. Okay. You know what this looks like? This looks like the headstock on a guitar. It's pretty much that. <laughs> oh, you just tap it. Why are you making me kiss it when I can just tap it? Why'd you make me do that whole thing? <laughs> So I got my harp here because if you take the mic out of the pipe, there's a quarter inch jack. And I'm gonna run my harp through it and try out some of these effects that they have listed on the back. Like this? No. There's also skeletons with machine guns. I don't like that. Why don't you like that? Because that's not realistic. <laughs> I'm excited to see what the real score of this is. Yeah. This seems like something that would be like fast paced, not too action-y, and maybe, yeah, a little creepy, you know? I don't think it's that creepy. Like spacey, yeah. Ooh, ca yeah, cavernous. I want to start off with an arpeggio. So I'm going to grab this again. So for this one, I'm gonna turn the noise knob up only a little bit uh, to get kind of like a nice percussive sound. I think I'm gonna use this to make some mouth sounds and send those sounds into Chroma Console. I wanna to try to like match the weird environment of the game. I think it's gonna sound weird. I would kind of want to like tap, on, like scratch the mic as well. Okay, so here is the track that I made. Here's the real music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I figured. I think I did okay on this one, actually. You know the little, like, sounds I did with the pipe? They were doing that, too. This one was tough, yeah. This one was tough, yeah. So what did you learn today? I learned that you don't always need the harp to make some really cool tracks, although it does, it does help. I learned that my Long Island accent is really bad. Please leave a comment and tell me which track you like the best. Hopefully it's not the track with the harp in it because I don't want to rename my second channel Harp Lady. I really don't. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing what you think. <laughs>